The United States and China have the two largest space agencies in the world. Combined, these two agencies spend more than double on space exploration than the remaining 25 major space agencies if they all teamed up. The space race between the US and China is an intense one with neither of them showing signs of slowing down. China in particular seems to be shocking the world, including the main man himself, Elon Musk, with their daring plans and revolutionary spacecraft. And guys, know this, whichever nation dominates the space industry may just be the most powerful nation in the world. So in this video, we'll be taking a look at all there is to know about this silent battle for space domination. Let's get to it. On July 23, 2020, the China National Space Administration, aka CNSA, would launch their most exciting space mission yet. Known as Tianwen-1, this Mars exploration mission would send a 5-ton spacecraft to space. The spacecraft consists of five major components, an orbiter, a deployable camera, lander, a drop camera, and a rover that would explore the surface of the red planet. The sheer weight of this spacecraft was enough to have people question the success probability of this mission. Tianwen-1 has currently lasted about 350 days since mission start. The plan is to have each of the five components doing their stuff simultaneously and then sending data back to receivers back here on Earth. The orbiter, one of the spacecraft's components, is planned to operate for two years with the countdown having started on February 10th of this year and when it was inserted into orbit. Before this, the deployable camera was deployed from the orbiter in September of 2020. The lander touched Mars on May 14, 2021, making China the third ever country to accomplish this feat after the US and the Soviet Union. This is as far as the Soviet Union ever got though. China and the US have gone further to land a rover. The Zhirong rover would be deployed from the lander the next day making China the second country to ever land and operate a rover on Mars behind the United States. And although the US through NASA has had a 24-year gap, we must remember that China accomplished its first mission, what took the US decades to achieve. No doubt that data from prior missions by other countries could have made theirs somewhat easier, but the point is that the space race isn't a sprint, but a marathon and anyone could take the lead. And with Tian-1 being China's first mission and such a success, morale at CNSA would likely be sky high. To maintain this momentum, subsequent Mars missions from China may not be too far away. Six rovers in total have successfully landed on Mars with five of them being from NASA. These five include Sojimer, which landed in 1997, Spirit in 2003, Opportunity in 2004, Curiosity in 2012, and Perseverance in February of 2021. The sixth addition to this list is CNSA's Zhirong rover, SpaceX mission to Mars. SpaceX, the undisputed largest private space company in the world, says through CEO Elon Musk that they would send people to Mars by 2026. So far, they still seem to have the earliest plans to achieve this with documented plans of fully reusable launch vehicle, human-rated spacecraft, on-orbit propellant tankers, local production of rocket fuel on Mars, and others. The biggest piece of SpaceX's Mars dreams, however, remains their Starship, a reusable high-payload launch vehicle under development since 2018. The stainless steel, relatively lightweight Starship is 50 meters in length and 9 meters wide, with six Raptor engines providing a thrust of 3 million pounds. This is quite impressive, and with tests underway, the future looks bright for SpaceX, the United States, the human race, and projected colonization of Mars. But as of now, that's a mission for the future. Let's take a look at the current missions to Mars that have actually been actualized, starting with NASA's InSight. NASA InSight. InSight is an abbreviation for the Interior Exploration Using Seismic Investigations, Geodesy, and Heat Transport, and it's a mission aimed at studying the deep interior of Mars. InSight was launched aboard an Atlas V-401 rocket, a rocket designed by a collaboration between Lockheed Martin and Boeing. InSight was launched on May 5, 2018, and successfully touched Mars on November 26, the same year, after traveling 300 million miles. InSight has been on Mars actively exploring the planet for over 965 days, even though the mission was originally planned to last about 728 days. Maybe InSight was a far more successful rover mission than even NASA had planned. The decision that the $830 million rover would have an extended time in service was made in January of 2021, and the new planned mission end is December 2022. Before the Zhirong rover touched Mars, InSight wasn't the only active rover on Mars. 
Curiosity has been there since 2012, and her mission isn't over. And the previous rovers, Mars Pathfinder, Sojourner, Opportunity, Spirit, although successful, have already elapsed their active days on Mars, and are currently stationary on the planet, in retirement waiting for their well-deserved medals for their contribution to human exploration on Mars. So Insight, Curiosity, and Perseverance from the US, and Zhurong from China, are currently at the forefront of Mars exploration, and China's one rover may just be enough to keep them in the battle, for a number of reasons. China's Space Programs China has always gone the extra mile in interplanetary missions. They were the first country to land a probe on the far side of the moon. Through their TN-1 mission, China is also the only country to both orbit Mars and then land a rover on Mars, all in a single mission. tn one is tasked with gathering data about the Martian surface, soil, geological structure, environmental atmosphere, signs of water, all of which could, to an extent, answer questions about the potential of life on Mars. The US and China have in the past collaborated on space missions, most notably those related to the International Space Station. Locally, the two countries keep breaking new grounds too. China plans to have a permanent, fully Chinese-owned space station by next year, a manned probe to the moon and to Mars around 2030. If we're being honest, NASA was very early to the space race, and therefore something spectacular is required from China to outpace them. And it's even more interesting that they know this, too. President Xi Jinping of China has publicly stated the priority of Chinese space missions, and with the pace at which they're going, they're definitely backed by billions of dollars. So much so that a professor at the US Naval War College once said that it's likely that the next voices from the moon would be Mandarin. And although the then NASA administrator Jim Bridenstein had a cheeky reply to this when it was brought up by CNN, no one can really deny that China is a worthy competitor. Some would even say an aggressive one, like NASA's current administrator, Bill Nelson. As of now, it's difficult to make any definite assumptions about space exploration and which country would dominate in a not-so-distant future. At a point in time, the Soviet Union was the United States' biggest competition, and today, they're basically underdogs in the space race, while seemingly quiet countries are proving to be not so quiet after all. For one, the United Arab Emirates in 2020 launched a probe that arrived at Mars in February of this year. Elon Musk in particular has been mighty interested in space missions and always commends colleagues that put in the sweat and resources to make humans the interplanetary species he so believes we are. Just as he congratulated Richard Branson, founder of Virgin Atlantic, for a successful visit to space, Musk also commended China for their successful Made in Mars mission, and the congrats may just keep flowing into Chinese borders with their impressive progress. It's still early to make assumptions, but we'll be keeping an eye on active space countries, most especially China and the US. However, it's projected that manned missions to Mars would most likely not be happening in the next few years. So in half a decade, a decade, or longer, Mars may be home to some humans for a few months, a few years, or who knows, maybe forever. It's exciting to see what we can accomplish when we put our mind to it. We're having serious conversations about going to a place that's 300 million miles away, a place we can't naturally see, a place within the star. It is known that rivalry fuels development and innovation, with the race to the moon between the US and the Soviet Union decades ago being a valid example, where we saw two nations devote all their resources to a single task. We're again witnessing a similar rivalry, which is definitely living up to the hype. However, the race to Mars isn't just about space agencies spending billions of dollars on rockets and rovers. People also have their roles to play by simply being interested and curious and showing that we are by subscribing to this channel. So you'll be the first to know when a new video drops. Here, you'll find updates on missions to the moon, to Mars, and everything in between. If you gained a thing or two from this video, remember to hit that like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and helps the channel grow. That will be all in this video. We'll see you in the next one.